we've kept that promise. This is the most transparent administration in history. So how has the self-styled most transparent administration in history performed? Well, I think the first time that phrase was used, the most transparent administration in history, the first time that phrase was used by anyone in the administration, it was uh, in the spring of 2010 when Press Secretary Robert Gibbs said it at a press conference. And according to Politico, laughter broke out in the briefing room uh, at this statement. And since then, it's only gotten funnier or sadder, depending on your perspective. Uh, it's one thing for a democratic government to, uh, to use state secrecy. We can all think of uh, things we might, uh, that a democracy might want to keep classified, uh, nuclear launch codes, weapon designs, that, sorts, that sort of thing. The remarkable thing about this administration is that they claim the right to keep from the American people some of the you know, most fundamental decisions that a democracy can make, uh, the information on what the law is, how the administration interprets the law, and even you know, who we go to war with. Is the executive branch essentially using the 2001 authorization of the use of force as the, what they're hanging their hat on? Well, it's not clear in terms of the secrecy uh, what the administration has said. There's been this phrase about we're at war with Al Qaeda, the Taliban, and its quote unquote associated forces. Uh, that probably does refer back to the uh, 2001 uh, authorization for use of military force. What's interesting or maybe appalling is that if you want to know who these associated forces are, that's classified. Uh, Carl Levin, uh, back in May, uh, Senator Carl Levin of the Armed Services Committee asked for a list of these associated forces. And the Pentagon said, we'll give you a list, but, but you've got to keep it secret. The rationale was pretty amazing. It was uh, that uh, by identif publicly identifying which of these uh, jihadi groups were, were going after with drones and building secret drone bases to, to combat, uh, we'd give them bragging rights. Uh, you know, it would raise their stature, and that would be dangerous to American national security. Well, you know, Madison thought that the most uh, important clause in the Constitution was the one that gives Congress the power to declare war instead of the executive branch. Uh, and uh, what the administration is saying is that we can actually keep secret who we're at war with because it might raise the stature of one of these groups. Didn't the Bush administration raise up al-Qaeda to be this very spooky uh, boogeyman? Yeah, and this is, uh, this is a, a bit of a, a different twist on that. Uh, the uh, Obama administration is saying, uh, you know, we can't let you know uh, which, which groups we're targeting. But it might be useful for uh, the American people and their representatives to have a public debate on whether these increasingly marginal groups that didn't exist on September 11th are worthy of building this vast archipelago of bases and uh, conducting a permanent drone war against. Uh, that would be something that you might want to debate in the open, in a public forum, you know, like you do in a democracy. Uh, Ron Wyden has been talking for a while about a secret Patriot Act uh, what does that mean? Uh, yeah, he's been saying this for, for a couple of years, and uh, we learned more about that after uh, the uh, former NSA contractor, Edward Snowden, uh, revealed the existence of this vast so-called metadata program, this uh, program by which the uh, National Security Agency has uh, swept up uh, some seven years' worth of calling records uh, on virtually every American. And uh, the Secret Patriot Act uh, involved here is Section 215 the, uh, of the Patriot Act. The administration, w which, allows the, uh, uh, which allows the government to compel the release of business records like phone calling records uh, when they are relevant to, quote unquote, relevant to a terrorism investigation. It turns out that uh, your phone records, my phone records, and virtually every American's phone records are considered by the administration and the FISA court to be relevant 
to, to, a ter- to terrorism investigations. Well, that came as news to uh, Congressman James Sensenbrenner, who's one of the key architects of the Patriot Act. He's been very vocal about that. And I think it's fair to say it came as news to the, the American people uh, that the administration was using a definition of the word relevant that uh, does violence to the ordinary English language. The Obama administration has already gone to war for months on end without uh, congressional approval. It did so in uh, Libya. And is there any indication that they recognize that there is some sort of uh, problem here? Not really. Uh, two weeks ago, in fact, uh, you know, we're, now we're getting involved uh, not in an active combat sense, but in providing military aid to Syrian rebels. Now, the uh, polls say that, uh, you know, when, when Americans talk to pollsters about this, 70% of them are saying we want to stay out of this bloodbath. But the administration is has decided that we need, quote unquote, skin in the game. So we're giving weapons to various Syrian rebel groups. Uh, two weeks ago, the Washington Post had a story about how this was approved. It was behind closed doors by the House and Senate intelligence committees uh, to divert CIA funds to a covert weapons program uh, for Syrian rebels. And there's an amazing sentence in that piece, which is that uh, the, the Post reports that Obama approved this as a covert action in order to avoid the need for wider congressional approval. Uh, so they do seem willing to do an end run around ordinary constitutional legislative processes. Uh, but an interesting aspect of that is this kind of works for uh, works out for certain congressmen and senators as well. When they asked uh, Diane Feinstein, Senator Diane Feinstein, who was on who's on the uh, Senate Intelligence Committee, how'd you vote on uh, aid to Syria? She said it's classified. <laughs> 